Hey guys, what's up? It's Brendan here from Your Game, back with another Call of Duty Nazi Zombies tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to complete the easy part of the Easter egg, and this will unlock the fireworks trophy or achievement. So guys, the first couple of steps in this guide, I'm not going to go into too much details. I have covered separate videos on these, and you will need to complete these anyways to process further in the map. So the first step you will have to do is turn on the power in the town centre. This will then give you access to the bunker. Once you're in the bunker guys you will need to do the two power terminals which are timed and this will give you access to the salt mine. Again cards are available on screen and that will bring you to separate videos that are more in depth. So now that we've gained access to the salt mine and turned on the power in the command room, continue into the emperor's room and inside you will see the hilt of a sword. This is the first step that we will need to complete to complete the Tesla gun. Again, I'm not going to go into too much detail on building the Tesla gun. A link will be available on screen on how to complete that and it's more in depth in that video. But very briefly, an overview in this area is once you've activated the hilt, you see a red glowing circle and you will need to collect zombie souls in this area. Once done, the room will glow red. So now that we've completed that step in the process, continue back to the command room and use the crank to raise the transfer device up. Once done, go to the upper deck of the command room and press the big red button. This will allow the transfer device to move along one of two rails. Again guys, I'm not going to go into too much detail on getting the Tesla gun, but mainly the transfer device will move along two rails, through which you will need to kill zombies in the red circle. This will place it in a generator and you collect the two parts to build the Tesla gun. Again, a link is available on screen. So now that you've got both parts of the Tesla gun, continue back to the command room and you're greeted by a Brenner zombie. Deal with him appropriately. A quick tip here guys is remember where you killed him as his head flies off and you will need this later. So once you've dealt with the Brenner zombie, continue back over to the upper deck of the command room and complete the Tesla gun. Once we've completed the Tesla gun, continue back to the Emperor's chamber and interact with the right hand of God. Once done, head back to the upper deck of the command room and you'll see a control panel on the wall. Click this and you will be given a colour coded code. So there is four power generators you will have to interact with matching the colour to the code that's been given. As you can see mine is blue blue green green with the first pack being right beside the generator. Simply match up the power terminals to the code that you have been given. Like I said the first is right beside it with the second being through the mortuary, drop down into the blood room and as you can see it's just on the left as you enter. Again interact with it and match up the code. There are three possible colours you can be given, obviously red, blue or green. The third one can be found just as you exit the blood room or the pack-a-punch room and the final is over towards the pub or tower area. Again this is a time sequence so if you don't do it in time I do advise getting stamina up you will need to go back to the command room and start again. Once done head over to the base of the tower and interact with the lever in the center. A gear will now begin to shoot up. A number of zombies will now attempt to attack this to which you will need to defend it. I personally found this probably the hardest step in getting the easter egg. Uh, I would advise using your special abilities pack a punch gun along with the tesla gun. Once you've successfully defended the first mechanism you will need to interact with two further levers at the same time and again you will need to defend both of these. This is quite a difficult step and it's quite a compact area so again use your special abilities and your wonder weapon. Also to make it a slight bit more difficult boss zombies and also a brenner zombie spawn for me. So you are free to leave this area but you will need to defend the two terminals before they go red. As you can see it's quite a long process that it will take between 1 and 2 minutes for both to be defended. And if however you fail on one of the two steps you can repeat it however a number of zombies will spawn again. Once you've defended all three generators and the lightning is summoned continue back to the emperor's chamber and interact with the right hand of god. This is the first step complete. So the next step in the process is actually to collect three batteries to charge the left hand of God. This is done by collecting the generators that fall out of the zeppelin that now appears over the map. As you can see if you head to the town centre and look to the skies you will see a zeppelin flying around. You will need to shoot the zeppelin when the red centre light comes on and there is four subsequent corner lights that you will need to shoot. If you successfully hit one it will drop a generator, you will then need to run over to this generator and collect or harvest zombie souls again. I found that there is a set path that you can run around and this is to run around through the pub, up through the graveyard and back around into the town centre. This is the easiest way to follow and train zombies around while targeting the zeppelin. 
This can be quite a tedious step but keep note on the actions you will have to do as again this step will be useful later on in the guide. Like I said once you've targeted the first light a generator will fall and again you will need to harvest zombie souls. Once done a battery will now appear and you will need to return this to the left hand of God. So as you can see guys I successfully charged the first battery to which you can continue over and bring it back to the Emperor's Chamber. This is quite a slow process as you can't fully sprint with the battery. However, if you have a normal zombie train, you do not need stamina up. I would advise getting stamina up however if you've any of the fast fly zombies as they will be able to constantly hit you while you sprint. Any normal zombies cannot catch you. Now that we've collected the first battery and placed it on the left hand of God, continue back out to the town centre again and complete the zeppelin process targeting the lights. Again this will drop a generator, harvest the zombie souls to charge the battery and bring it back to the left hand of God. You will need to do this 3 times in total of charging the battery, however it will end up being 4 times shooting the zeppelin light because he does however drop a decoy. So now that we've completed, charged and placed 3 of the batteries into the left hand of God, it's time to move on to the voice of God. So the voice of God is probably the easiest step in this process and you will need the Brenner head from earlier. As I said, you would need to take note where you killed the first Brenner zombie. However, any subsequent Brenner zombie that spawned and you killed will also drop their head. So with the Brenner head in hand, continue over to four paintings spread around the map. You will need to press L2 or LT at these paintings in order to scan them. As you can see, once you scan the first one, which is in the pub area of the map, it gives a symbol of a bird and also a Roman numeral. The second painting can be found in the courtyard. Again, use the Brenner head to scan and reveal the symbol. Take note of the bird and the Roman numeral it corresponds to. The birds represent north, south, east and west and the Roman numerals are numbered 1 to 5. Again, the direction of the bird and the Roman numeral, you will need to remember these. The next painting can be found in the mortuary, again use the Brenner head to scan. The final painting can be found in the blood room or the pack-a-punch room, again note the bird direction and the numeral. Once you've scanned all four paintings and this can be in any particular order you wish, head back to the Emperor's Chamber and interact with the voice of God. Once here you will need to match the bird symbol to the Roman numeral it corresponds to. The way I remember this personally is go by up, down, left, right depending on the direction of the bird and then up 1, up 2, up 3 depending on the Roman numeral you get. Once you've matched up the images to the number you are now free to interact with the voice of God. This will now put a shield around the hilt and you will need to use your tesla gun to break this and continue over and pick up the hilt itself. Just a note here guys that if you're playing more than one player each of the players in the lobby will have to shoot the shield at the same time with the tesla gun. Now that you've gained access to the hilt, continue out of the emperor's chamber to which you'll be greeted by a small cutscene. So now that you're back in the game you'll be in a kind of demolished town centre and you will be only able to train a certain area of the map. If you look up to the skies again over the demolished town you will see the zeppelin is now back. However you're greeted with the boss zombie also. Like I mentioned earlier, the zeppelin plays a key role here again. You will need to shoot the red lights in order to drop down a generator, charge the battery and the battery is used to defeat the boss. So once you've got the battery, the next thing to do is shoot the boss and he will stumble. Do this quite close to the battery as you have a limited time to run over and place the battery on his knee. You will need to do this 3 times in total with the battery. Again there is a decoy so it will be 4 times on the zeppelin lights. Once defeated you will be greeted by another cutscene and once back in the game you will be given the hilt or the artifact and you will also unlock the fireworks trophy. So guys as always thanks a million for watching, much appreciated, be sure to click the like button, subscribe button and stay awesome.